YouTube. Hello and welcome. Thank you for coming in once again. This is going to be another quick XRP rant because there's a lot of noise in this space right now in regards to XRP, the XRP ledger, what's going to happen with the buyback. We're arguing about this and that. How could XRP ever hit $37,000? Okay, we need to focus in. We need to remember what we hold. Okay, there's a lot of distractions right now. We even have meme coins being built on the XRP ledger. But let's get down to it. Okay, I got a piece of news that I want to share with you guys real quick. So as you can see, while we've been distracted and arguing about buybacks and everything else going on with the XRP ledger, you got XRP2. Oh my gosh, Jeremy Hogan did a paid post. The world is coming to an end. We should all sell our XRP. What is the smart money doing? Now this article is from the Daily Hoddle. This came out yesterday, December 12th. And they are talking about how smart money whales have been accumulating XRP now up to almost $3 billion worth of XRP. And these are the whales that hold 1 million to 10 million XRP. They've been adding to their position. So my question is, what have you been doing during this opportunity while XRP is still under a dollar? Have you packed your bags yet? Are you in the top 10% of holders? Do you have 2000 XRP? Do you have 10,000 XRP? Are you prepared for the generational wealth, the transfer of wealth that is about to occur? It's gonna be one of the biggest transfers of wealth since World War II, if not the greatest transfer of wealth in world history. And are you prepared for that? Are you distracted right now? Or are you alongside this smart money in accumulating and continuing to pack your bags? Now, please do not comment down below in the comments how much XRP you have. Okay, keep that a secret. But I do want you guys to ask yourself these questions. How well are you prepared for the coming reset, the new financial system being rolled out, the greatest transfer of wealth in world history? Okay, this is a serious shift underway. And while there's all of these distractions going on, we have to remember what XRP was designed for. We have to remember how many partnerships Ripple has. We have to recognize what partnerships in the space actually matter over 50 central banks that Ripple's working with, over 400 banks and financial institutions already partnered with XRP, Ripple, okay? So we really need to understand what we hold. We have to understand what the whales and the smart money's doing. As you can see here, the wallet holders here that contain 1 million to 10 million XRP have accumulated over 19 million more XRP. So they continue to pack their bags. They're buying this dip. I don't know what XRP is about to do. It looks like Bitcoin's going to retest maybe 42K region. Um, but I am still looking for XRP to pump going into the new year. Going in to the end of the discovery phase for the SEC lawsuit. There's going to be a lot of hype and speculation with this asset leading into that new year time frame when we're going to have the bull run coming to an end we're going to have a few cryptos like xrp xlm that have not hit their all-time high from last bull run and then you're going to have the end of the discovery phase which now has been extended once again the staged stall lawsuit that is the sec versus ripple lawsuit the discovery phase got and pushed back now it's going to end on january 19th 119 or 19 or uh, 911 if you reverse that. Funny how that works out. But regardless, okay, there's going to be a lot of hype and speculation for specifically XRP going into the new year. And as this discovery phase wraps up, will there be a settlement? Nine out of 10 SEC lawsuits end with a settlement during discovery. So we have a 90% chance of a settlement, okay? And if it goes to trial, okay, is XRP going to be suppressed till spring? Maybe they drag out the case till the end of next year. We know sometime within the next year this case will be wrapped up. So the smart money whales are accumulating, and what are you doing? Are you still packing your bags? I'm not, personally, 
because my bags have been packed. Now, if we dip, we something crazy happens and we're back at 50 cents, I'll probably load up some more. But right now, I'm currently buying XLM. Okay, I'm not here to uh, offer you guys financial advice. I'm here to share the truth about XRP, and I want to cut through the noise. I want to keep you guys focused on what XRP is designed to do, what it's meant to do, the partnerships and the development that Ripple is achieving, the fact that while the XRP ledger was having these issues with all the airdrops and struggling, David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, the basically the head uh, developer for XRP, is in Antarctica when this was all happening. What a funny, strange coincidence. But what a beautiful representation of how decentralized the XRP ledger actually is. Because you have hundreds of developers across the world working on fixing and scaling up the XRP ledger. So I want to keep you guys focused. Keep your eyes on the prize. What XRP is here to do. Okay, we know what we hold. In the meantime, you're going to have to cut out the noise. You might have to unfollow some of these guys that aren't really qualified to be talking about XRP. Remember, when we're talking about XRP and Ripple, we're talking about suits sitting down at tables, having meetings that you're lucky if you even hear about them. And if you do hear about them, you're probably not even going to get the agenda that was discussed at the meeting. Okay? Meanwhile, 90% of these other cryptos out here don't even have a true use case or utility. So that's where we're at. Okay, I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for another XRP rant, and we will see you guys in the next one. Please make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm going live, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. God bless. Thank you.